There's only a compass, no map, and no flashlight. So much of what we've done lacks a definitive roadmap or existing experience we can pull from. We've adopted the mindset of simply feeling our way through the dark and experimenting. There's an understanding and admission that there's going to be polarizing deviations based on mistakes, research, and gut calls. This element of fluidity and experimentation is not without its own pushback. It's made us wonder, what do we stand for structurally as making, and what's up for debate and trial? Our biggest revelation has been to separate structure and fluidity. You shouldn't pursue every single opportunity under the guise of an experiment. Limited resources and a lack of direction can leave you disorientated and without identity. You also don't want to practice structure in the face of innovation and progression. It's come to us that the structural side represents our values and our philosophy, while fluidity is something we embrace in execution. Our goals and vision shouldn't deviate drastically, but they are up for interpretation. A few ongoing experiments we've partaken in these past few weeks include our Slack community, which has connected people around the world and created some fascinating discussions, our first digital making session that will allow our members to connect with multifaceted artist and musician Taku through a live discussion, and finally, revisiting how we communicate certain features and distribute stories. If you've seen our latest Instagram stories, we're trying to offer something different and compelling. And on the story front, this issue, we're excited to debut our new series, Sounds Of, which brings together the oral signature of a city and transforms it into a full-fledged soundtrack. We feature comic book artist and doctor Ryan Montoya, who explains how visually driven narratives are an important tool in the future of medicine. And finally, a story that seems to really hit home in our current state of affairs. We speak with Everybody Loves Raymond creator and executive producer, Phil Rosenthal, about his current travel and food show, I'll Have What Phil's Having. He highlights how travel is a critical tool in removing fear and prejudice. This month also marks the launch of a new series of lightweight stories called The Making Beat. It's part news, part exploration into culture around us. As always, if you have any feedback, please let us know, as we hope to make each month better than the last. 